Today's topic is 7 Methods to Dry Up Breast Milk. Drying up breast milk is something that you might want to do for various reasons. Also known as lactation suppression, the process is carried out while weaning a baby off breast milk. However, the time it takes to stop producing milk varies. Some women might dry up in just a few days, while others may have to wait several weeks. There's no exact formula behind this, with multiple factors influencing how long it might take to dry up. These factors include how much milk is being produced and the age of the baby. While forceful weaning is not recommended, it might be necessary in certain cases. Here are seven methods you can try out, but only if you consult your doctor beforehand. Cold turkey. Breast milk can dry up naturally if you don't stimulate the breasts or breastfeed your baby. You can help induce cold turkey by holding your breasts in place with a supportive bra, sparingly easing engorgement by hand expressing milk, and using over-the-counter medication and ice packs to deal with pain and inflammation. However, the time taken by cold turkey to work is heavily dependent on how long you have been breastfeeding. Cabbage leaves. Believe it or not, cabbage leaves can also help in lactation suppression. You simply have to buy fresh cabbage and wash the leaves before chilling them in the refrigerator. Once that's done, all you have to do is put them on your breasts before you put on your bra. The leaves make lactation suppression more comfortable by reducing swelling. Herbs. Herbs have long been used to dry up breast milk. While science doesn't give a definitive answer, sage is widely used for lactation suppression. Other herbs that can be tried out are peppermint, jasmine, chaste berry, and parsley. Birth control medication. Birth control pills contain estrogen, which can also help in lactation suppression. The suppressive effects of contraceptive pills can occur even if you're producing milk regularly. However, Contraceptive pills do not work for everyone, and you should consult a doctor before you use them. Vitamin B supplements. Vitamin B doses specifically B1 thiamine, B12 cobalamin, and B6 pyridoxine can also help with lactation suppression. However, you need to take these supplements before you've started breastfeeding your baby. This method is advised for those who want to feed their baby formula milk instead of weaning them off later. Sudafed. Pseudoephedrine, also known as Sudafed, is a cold medication that can be used to reduce breast milk production. A 60 mg dose is enough according to some studies, and it also does not affect the baby. Other drugs. Other drugs such as bromocryptine and cabobroline can also be used to dry up breast milk. The latter is particularly helpful as it stops the production of prolactin in the body. However, these drugs are not certified for this use, and you should consult a doctor before opting for them. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.